be what? Your shot there put you guys up by seven. Can you, can you just take us through that play? It seemed like you, you did not hesitate to, to shoot that ball. Not at all. Uh, I just wanted to get an advantage that we had before. We had maybe 10, 15. Uh, so, I think it because of that. Mario, you had six steals. That's career high. Do you think that says something about your growth, about as far as being in the right spot, being in the passing lanes, getting your hands on balls? I didn't know that, uh, but I guess um, I, I kind of sneak, the, if that's a correct mm -hmm. word, mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, I know where where they are going, uh, mm -hmm. so I, if I can reach with my hands there and uh, just deflect it so somebody else can pick it up and we can get an easy uh, fast break uh, layup. Great. But if we miss... <laughs> you also had a career high seven assists. Does that show any growth? I guess. <laughs> uh, I love I love to get uh, everybody here involved. Uh, now I score on the low. But when, if I get a... Everybody, if I can get everybody involved, then I'm even more happy. So that's what it's all about. Mark, in this momentum, you plan well late in the season. Can it help push you through your workouts in the summer? Kind of give you a blueprint. Of yeah, definitely, because you know uh, where are you, uh, what not to do anymore, what to start to do. Uh, change the game, if I can say it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, change my game. Change the like team concept. But nothing crazy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Just to get uh, better because well, obviously we need it for the playoffs yeah. next year. Does it motivate you if people drafted around you? Scott said the other day, he said, if there are other rookies playing better, he wants you to look at it and kind of get mad and want to play as well as them. Do you look at other people drafted around you at all, how they're playing? Not at all. All right. Good. Thanks, man. Thank you. No problem.